Now, today we are going to learn some geometry. And as you can see on the chalkboard, I have written we are going to learn how to construct parallel lines. Repeat after me, parallel lines. That is very good. Now, I hope every one of you has his or her mathematical set. So what I want you to do as I am uh, demonstrating on how to go about the construction of parallel lines, I want you to take out your geometrical set and make sure that your instruments are all in. And please, you can uh, watch as I am doing it. And then I will explain it later when we shall all do it together. Now, class on the chalkboard, I have a diagram that I have drawn. It is full of lines and arcs like you were taught in class 5. Now, before I demonstrate and we go together, I want us to go to our mathematical sets, please, everybody. Now, the first instrument I am holding is called a ruler. Ours is small, it has 15 centimeters. Then I have this instrument with me. This is called a divider. Now we use the ruler to make or to draw straight lines. Teacher's ruler that I am using on the chalkboard, you have seen I can use it to draw straight lines on the figure that I have drawn. So make sure you have yours. A pair of dividers. This one is used to make sure that when you want to measure the length of your line, you will open it up and then point that divider onto the line and open it up to where you want to measure. If you are using a ruler, then you will place it on your ruler starting from the centimeter side and measure the length of your line. Then we have this instrument called somebody Yes, it's called a protractor. So this one is for measuring the angles. Then we have two more instruments. They look like triangles. Somebody who knows the name? Uh-huh, they are called set squares. They are also used, if you remember in class five, you were taught how to draw the parallel lines are written on the chalkboard using your set square. Then the last instrument is this one here. This is called a, yeah, a pair of compass. Now the compass has one sharp point and a place where you can fix your well-sharpened pencil. Where do we need a well-sharpened pencil? To make sure that the arcs we make or the drawings we make are to the point. They will be accurate when we want to measure them. So those are the instruments that you should be having. For our lesson today, we will use your ruler, pair of dividers, and 
the compass. And for those who want to rub, because I know you like rubbing, make sure you have a rubber. Now, using your ruler, I want you to measure a line. Measure a line of six centimeters. Six centimeters. So what you do, take your ruler, take your ruler, place it on your book nicely and make sure it is straight. Draw a long line like that. Then use your pair of dividers to measure six lines from your ruler. So measure starting from the point zero. Make sure you that the other point should point at six. Then carefully pick your ruler, your dividers, and place it directly on that line. You will find that you will make two dots somewhere. So that will be the length of your six centimeters. Are we there, everybody? Hope so. So let's continue. Now we have measured our line six centimeters. Six centimeters. Put a mark, then mark point A and mark point B. Now if you look at my former diagram, we had made point A and B. Now from there we are going to make a perpendicular perpendicular line at A and B at A and B somebody to remind us how to make a perpendicular line at A yes good now what you do is using your pair of compass open it a bit just a small radius, place the sharp point at A, make an arc on that same line, twist it on the other side, make an arc on the same line. That is very good. Now make sure you don't press your compass again back to its position. Using the same radius, point at B and make an arc at B, from B, and on the other side, twist your compass to the other side, B. Now we have a set of arcs. Right from point A, we have arc, this arc, and arc two. Then we have at point B, arc one and arc two. What we are making class is a perpendicular line from point A. So how do we make it? Now, open your compass again, a wider radius, and then pointing at arc, either at point A, any of the arcs, point it there and open it up a bit, a bit up there, make another arc, and from the other arc, make another arc, like so. So I have two arcs above A that are crisscrossing. I hope you have the same. Using the same radius again, come to point B, the first arc on its right, make an arc above it, and on the other arc at point B, another arc. Make sure they crisscross like that. Now we have a set of two arcs at point A, we have two arcs, point B, and another set of at. Now what do we do? We want to join at the center here and at the center of the other arc. Now using your ruler, make sure you place it straight onto the other arc, like that, and draw a straight line joining the two arcs. Now we have this point, we call it C and this other point B. Now class, what do we note of the two lines? Uh -huh. Yes, good. The two lines are straight lines, and what is happening to them? They are parallel. Parallel meaning they run straight ahead. They never meet. They will never meet, even if you go where. 
they will never be divided said to go with this like CD, go out there and the AB, they will never meet. So they are parallel lines. Now what if we join point A and C up here, put a mark at the center and draw your line cutting across C and A. And on this other side, a point at D and B, draw a line cutting across D and B. So we also have another set of parallel lines. We have line AC and line BD being, a par being parallel lines. They will also never meet. So if you look at our diagram there, we have line AB is parallel to line Line C, D. Line C, D. That is what we can say. Then what else can we learn from our drawing? Yes. Line A, C. Line A, C, A and C. This line is parallel to line B, D. Yes, line B, D. So we have a pair of parallel lines. So for more practice, I want you to draw parallel lines of measure a line, measure line uh, seven centimeters. Now from here, using your pair of compass and your ruler only like we have done, make sure you have practiced more on how to construct parallel lines.